quickly the other guys. Here she is in action. Watch her. Hi. Hi. You must be Terry. I'm sorry I've been hiding, honey, but this dinner was tricky. Oof. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sheila Gamble, his wife. Come on, seriously, who is that? His old lady. Sweetie, it's a workstation. Got it. And you come in here dressed like a hobo, it's distracting. I know you're working. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come on, seriously. Come on, what? Who is that? Come on! Welcome back. Hi, Georgie. Hi, baby. Hi, this is my favorite audience ever. <laughs> I told you last time that every time I'm here, it feels like a party, and I love that. Yesterday, I heard that you had a sex tape. Listen, when I heard, I almost jumped in the computer to see it. <laughs> Through the fiber optics, I would have found it. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what, what's going on? Is, it, is, it, is this rumor true that you have a, a sex tape? Well, there is a, a tape. <laughs> <laughs> and it has something to do with sex. But, Georgie, it's not what you think, so don't be too disappointed. All right. Uh, 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 can I, can I show it to everybody? Okay. If you must, <laughs> if you must. I must, I must. You want to see it? Let's take a look at, at Ava's sex tape. Sorry, Mom. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Got it. Hi, folks. I'm Ava Mendez, and you've just experienced one of the millions of uses for my new product, Ava Mendez's sex tape. By demand, my sex tape is safe to use on poles, pipes, rods, rims, bottoms, tops, in the back, in the front, upside down, on a boat, in a tree, with toys, in Mexico, covered in champagne, and on untreated naked wood. It's funny, I, I couldn't hear the last one. Which one was the last one? I, Georgie. <laughs> okay, you know. On untreated naked wood. Yes! I love the seventh grader in him is still alive, you know? <laughs> That's amazing. Now, for, for it, it's brilliantly funny, this, this sex Thank tape. You. And for, for the first few days, how, how did, did your people think it was real? Your friends well, and your family? Actually, before it came out, I was actually getting on a plane from New York here to L.A. to come to your show. <laughs> and, um, and I was just on plane. You know how they make you turn off your phone, which I kind of never do. I know it's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm like trying to sneak a last mass text because I was like, oh, my family. <laughs> and my family, some who are here tonight, um, I was like mass texting all of them. This is a joke. This is not to be taken seriously. All in caps because, of course, my brother and my father and my entire, my nephews, no, no, no. That would not have gone What would they well. have done if they was, uh, they'd taken that dude out, whoever was in the tape? Absolutely. In so, a scary way. Were, 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 were friends, text, I didn't want anybody were in friends jail, texting but... you, though, like, thinking that it was? No, my friends actually didn't text me, and I thought either they're, you know, they knew it was a gag or they were expecting it, which is awful. Which <laughs> <laughs> is just awful. What is it like it's about time? I knew that was going to oh, come Oh, God. Out. Oh, God. It makes me sick. <laughs> no, but, yeah, it's a really funny thing for uh, Funny or Funny Die. Funny or Die, which is brilliant. Now, how, how does a video like that come about? How does the idea get conceived? Um, well, basically, you know, this movie, The Other Guys, the director's Adam McKay, who directed Talladega Nights and the, the Step Brothers and, and uh, Anchorman, which is my favorite. Anchorman. My favorite. I heard that that's like your godfather. That's my godfather. Favorite Anchorman line, your favorite line. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's hard. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, hmm. Or top three. Uh, you're a real hooker, and I'm going to smack you in public. <laughs> I that like is, that. That is I an like Anchorman that line. I like that one. That is an Anchorman line. <laughs> yeah. Now, now this, I saw the other guys, and it, it, is, it is really... How funny is it? It's fantastic. It's, you guys, it's funny. I would never say it if it wasn't. I'd sit here and go, oh, I'm glad you liked it, George. I'm telling you, it's hysterical. It's hysterical. It's hysterical. So, and in this comedy, with some very Will Ferrell, yeah. you hold your own. Now, when you were yeah. growing up, were, were you comedic? Were you funny? 
Um, I think I was weird more than funny. <laughs> You what know, you <laughs> I used to do this, this thing where, like, you know, my family and I, we didn't have, we were lower middle class. We, we never had a car. Like, my mother and I would walk everywhere. <laughs> That's not lower middle class, not having a car. <laughs> well, or, or if you're a New Yorker, it's not, but here in L.A. it is. No, but, you know, we didn't have money for the nicer things in life, let's say, George. Like, yes. not the luxury, right? So, basically, we'd be walking, and we'd walk around, like, next, like, by restaurants. The people were in the window, people eating, very civilized. <laughs> I would just stand there and go. <laughs> <laughs> and I was little, so imagine a little, like, five, six-year-old doing that. My mother would yank me. She'd be like, yeah, yeah, don't do that, you know? <laughs> so, Will Ferrell, they do a lot of improv. -ing. Yes. Now, was that, was that new to you? To yes. be improv, to do scenes where every scene is different. Yes, and I loved it. It is free, isn't it's it? It's so fun. It's really, really fun. And one of the things I really wanted to make sure, you know, you know, it's a, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of testosterone on this movie. I'm like pretty much the only girl, so I was like, I'm not gonna just, you know, right. sink or swim. Right. I'm not gonna sink. So I, you know, I was in there, and one time I. Um, <laughs> I, I got a little excited with the improv, and I almost stabbed Will Ferrell in the chest <laughs> with a carving knife. It was... It didn't happen. What, what, what do you mean? Well, how, how does that? It's just, you know, you get carried away, and then the director, Adam McKay, who I love so much, was like, all right, you guys can go crazy on this one. We got what we need. And, you know, go crazy is go crazy to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to stab you with a knife, or at least I'm going to try. <laughs> In character, in character, not as my real self. Okay. But I like that, though. I like that. To, to improv, you take it back to Echo Park. I'm taking it back <laughs> to Echo Park, and I have a knife, and I will stab you in your chest with a carving knife. <laughs> wow. You break it down like that, yes. But she wise was, choice. I must say, very wise it choice. It was good, but he, he, in his improv, Will's character smacks me in the butt, so I was like, oh. So it's this whole thing, which didn't, needless to say, did not make the movie. So now, you'll see it on DVD deleted scenes. Now, here, here's the thing. Harmar Superstar, the last time you were here, you turned me on to him. I just told him backstage that Tall Boy and all his stuff is fantastic, right? Oh, such now, a fan. now you, you have never sung before, but you did do, you were in a great video for I Tall was Boy. in a great video, absolutely, which you so kindly aired while I was here last time. Can, can uh, the, last, the last appearance here, I'm going to show some of the uh, special effects. Let's see a little bit of this tape, how we did this. Okay, so to get this cool special effect, we basically used a leaf blower. All right, George, I need you to relax. Oh. Uh, uh, will you stick around for Harmar's of course. performance? Of course. Are you crazy? Of course. <laughs> okay. When we come back, Harmar Superstar performs, and you're not going to want to miss this. Trust me, do not move. We'll be right back. Cover me, Whitehead. TNT tomorrow.